Welcome everyone, Farmer Cup here. This is going to be a delayed map tour, as usual, you guys are used to it now, for Ohio Richlands uh, by Julian F. Monning. It is 210.31 megabytes to download for all platforms. Um, so, a quick thing regarding me. I am, I have, I was not feeling great, um, so I started getting a little sick, so I was working so much. Um, I should have a couple of days off now, and I'm excited to be able to get all these map tours done, because there's this one and three other maps, and then I'll probably get some other videos done, so you guys actually have a full week of content for maybe the next couple of weeks. That's the plan, um, going into the holidays and stuff like that, but uh, I do work Christmas and Christmas Eve, but yeah, it's going to be great. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get back to Ohio Richlands here. So I'm going to read the description first, and then we'll continue into the map tour. It says, welcome to Ohio, welcome to a beautiful rural region of the northern United States, where cornfields nestle between hardwood forests and fields of wheat alongside numerous lakes and streams. If you see cows grazing in front of an old American barn, the grass shiny green while a combine harvester brings in the rich harvest in front of a huge modern silo complex next door, you know, this is where agriculture is at home. This map is a replica of the region of the north of the U.S. state of Iowa, uh, Ohio, Jeez, I don't know why I said Iowa, I'm just... It's fine, <laughs> which was initially uh, faithfully created using satellite data and reference images and was later supplemented with own fictional construct constructs. This therefore means a large part of the map could theoretically still be found in real life using aerial photos and or knowledge of the region shown. The specially introduced ideas serve to make the map playable, e.g. sales stations, vehicle dealers, more farms, etc. Uh, but they were only introduced uh, subtly in order to preserve the image of a real region and not to overload the map. This map owes its authenticity to its origin as a faithful replica of the real region. Designing it, it was important to present a picture of the agriculture of the U.S. that was as realistic as possible. Realistic especially for Ohio, of course. There are many, are there other differences to other states. And to expand the selection of U.S. maps by another, hopefully, liked by you. Um, so, and then it goes down to continue here. It says, on this map, there are more than 10 farms or similar designed plots of land shed with grain bins or similar next to 34 fields and seven grasslands that can be bought by the player. Forestry isn't the main focus of this map, but you still can buy two areas inside forests or two areas inside forests where you can cut wood. There are no items to collect in this map. There are numerous ponds and ditches on the map, but please be aware they don't have water triggers. The seasonal growth plan is still based on the standard in-game plan. In addition to two sales stations for classic crops, all standard crops, it also contains a farm shop at the dairy farm and a restaurant at the campsite where processed products can be sold. Cows, horses, and chickens are already present on the map, and if some wood is to be harvested, the neighbors will be happy to take it off. Uh, and of course, there is n there is much more that just can't all be mentioned here. To get an idea, it's worth examining the map itself in game. Have fun. There you go. So sorry, that was two minutes of me reading that. But we're going to go and hop into it here. Take a look. I don't know. Where are we at? Where are we at starting out? New farmer mode. We're standing somewhere. Oh, right down here looking at this like beautiful little imagery down here. Love it. Uh, anyhow, um, so that's where we start out at. Um, now, they did say there's 10 farms around this map, so we should be able to notice all of them as we go. Um, yeah, so we have the vehicle shop down here. Campground, that's where you can sell um, products there. The farm shop, you can also sell products there. Um, it's a silo. Those are silos. Uh, firewood, so you can sell your wood there. Um, Ohio Agri Co-ops, that's where you can sell all your crops. And then Butler's Ag Co-op, and then we have all of our or more silos down here, actually. I thought there's going to be productions. I don't actually see any productions on the map right now. Um, we will end up buying all the map at some point to take a look at everything. Uh, but yeah, so I'm actually going to do this a little bit differently. So obviously they said standard in here. I'm not going to scroll through all the crops. We'll just go down to the bottom. There's nothing new added into the map because we already looked at all the sell points and you know that if we go to the map, you can sell all your regular crops at these two sell points and then you can sell all your additional ones at uh, that's firewood, sorry. So your additional ones are the farm shop and the restaurant, since that was mentioned in the description. So I don't think there's any need to keep going there. We have several pieces of starting equipment we'll look at in the store in a second. $100,000 in new farmer mode, no starting loan. We do have chickens in our chicken pasture, cows in our cow barn, a lot of cows actually, and a couple horses in our horse pasture starting out. There are contracts in the fields you do not own. Um, no production chain starting out, and as mentioned, no collectibles on this map. Um, we're gonna turn auto save off and turn that down to there. And then I'm also going to turn this off there. So beautiful. Now what we are going to do, if we go back to the map, I'm actually going to hop us up right over here. We have a pickup truck starting out. We're just going to hop into it so we can get up to our starting farm, which this looks absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to just fast forward time actually just a touch to get us up to about noon here. Yeah, so about the prime lighting here. This looks absolutely beautiful. And this looks like a legit U.S. road for sure. 
Uh, this is a really cool map, guys. I'm excited about this one. Um, I'm just, I'm pumped about it. Okay, I'm just seeing some of the, what I've seen so far. Um, I always do my map tours just coming on here cold, so I haven't like looked around it before or anything like that. I always do it this way just because it's my natural reaction to it. So anyhow, owned items. We have a Massey Ferguson MF3707. We have a John Deere 4755. We have a Max Superliner 6x4. We have a John Deere T560. We also have a corn header for that, the 625X. And we have a header trailer for that as well. We also have a skid steer loader, the L318. And then for our skid steer loader, we have pallet forks. We also have our pickup truck. We have ourselves a Load King Distinction Super V Pole Trailer. We also have a oops, little bit of load. There we go. A small stone picker. We have a disc harrow there, decent size, decent size direct drill cedar there. We also have this planter right here. Um, we have a sprayer. If it'll load, there we go, sprayer. We have a small baler. And then I don't think we have a loader for it. No, I don't see one. We have a front loader attachment. If it'll, these things are just loading slow. Uh, the quickie there, front loader tools. We have the fork with grapple. Um, then we also have a John Deere pickup 1800 weight. And then our miscellaneous, we have this little flatbed trailer there, which I guess you could load your bales onto that way. But there you guys go. That is all the, the equipment that we have starting out. Obviously, our truck is right here. Julian F. Modding. <laughs> it's really funny there. Uh, yeah, the, the map's by Julian F. Modding. So Julian F. MD. I like that. That's pretty funny. Um, we, of course, can play some basketball if we need to. I wish I could play basketball and dunk it like that in real life. I cannot. Spoiler alert. Um, anyhow. I don't see, let's get our map up here. I don't think this is a sleep trigger. I think you have to add your own, which is actually probably ideal. Um, can we go in there? No, nothing like that. But it looks really detailed. We got a coffee pot sitting out there that looks like me be sitting out there in the morning drinking a bunch of coffee. It's interesting, this field, they didn't plant really the edges of it. This is field two, which you can see they didn't plant around the edge there, but you do own that field starting off. Got a little swing there. We got our John Deere sitting out here. Big storage for some of our equipment there. We also have a pressure washer in there, which is nice. Can we go in here? Nope, can't go in there. Um, there is an upstairs to this if we go up here. A tractor up here. Some other items, miscellaneous items sitting around here. I don't think we can move these. Nope. But there you go. One of your tractors is up there. Back around the front here. We got our truck with our trailer on the back there sitting there. We open this bad boy up. We got our harvester and the rest of our equipment is sitting in there. So there you go. That is your starting farm, new farm mode, which is just this chunk of land and this chunk of land here. We also own field nine, actually. I didn't notice that. Or field six, land nine, field six. But right over there, so you have that as well. Um, yeah, that's what we got going on. We are going to hop into our truck and do a drive around of the map to point out a few things. I am, though, before we do that, going to go ahead and just purchase all of the land. Um, we're going to say it's all my farm. There we go. Um, just to make sure we're not missing anything. So everything that should be popping up is popping up on the map. So we're going to start out. We're going to come out this way, take a left, come down here, take a look at some of this stuff. Now, I believe this is our chicken pasture out here that we own and have chickens in because we don't have any animal pens here. So, yeah, we'll drive out here, take a look at that, probably head down around this way, uh, maybe down this way over here towards the vehicle shop. And then we'll head up around and up over and probably finish out at this guy right here. And we might hit a couple of these things on a flyover. Uh, but, yeah, we're trying to hit most of it. Not, that's a cool truck right there to see that that's that's really something right there that was that was fantastic some little custom uh vehicles on here that's pretty smooth i like that that's really cool that looks like a it's it's a dodge dually right there you can't tell but it's not and another one right behind us these custom vehicles are awesome this is so cool <laughs> that's fantastic this really does feel really genuine too um, don't get hit by that Dodge Dually. A lot of Dodge Dualys, of course. It's a great truck. I drive a Dodge. Not a Dually, but it's still a Dodge. Best truck out there. Sorry if you're a Chevy or Ford guy or anything else. Uh, but anyhow, <laughs> I'll probably get some nasty comments about that. Uh, we got some chickens here in our chicken pen. Um, we got some storage here if you want to use it. I don't believe we... We don't own this land starting out, but you can buy it if you'd like to. It does have some of our stuff on it. We have lots of grain bins, pressure washers, all sorts of stuff. Storages scattered about the map you can open them all once you own the land you probably won't be able to open them unless you own the land just as an fyi to you and if we actually just i should have just hopped out we don't need to actually drive up here go across the street we got another little farmhouse here big old set of uh, silos there and we got another bin right here or not a bin sorry a uh, storage shed and then we got a fuel tank right here it looks like yep big old fuel tank for us if you want that back out here if i tab will it take me of course not to the vehicle I want to go to. It'll take me to literally everything else. There we go. Okay. So we're going to backtrack just a little bit, knock over that mailbox or that little post there, whatever it was. And we're going to take a right on this dirt road here, which will take us just down behind our farm. 
Yeah, we'll head down this way. Get a sip of water as we're going. Curve around here. And then right here on the right-hand side, we got our farmhouse, some more sheds and things to that nature. Plenty more storage. We do have some, oh gosh, a lot of stuff out here. Fertilizer tanks, we got fuel tanks out there. Um, and then we have another silo right here in front of us you can see as well. And I think, yeah, we're gonna continue, yeah, just down this road here. Let's get back on this dirt road if we can. I think it's up in these trees. Yeah, right here. So this is one of those little forestry areas. Oh, geez, I'm just smacking into a tree now. This is one of those little forestry areas you can uh, take a look at here. We'll just drive through it this way just so we can get through without being just completely destroyed by all the different trees out and about. Because we're out here, it's kind of hard to see what we've got going on. But as we get through here, we need to take a left there. I'm all over the road now. All over the road, all over these fields. The police, I'm sure, have been called by this point to come arrest me, but that's okay. We'll keep going. So we got like an old abandoned kind of farmyard here, or old abandoned barn. House definitely doesn't look abandoned. And if we take a right just down this way, that's where we got our vehicle shop right here. Beautiful, looks good. You can see shop right there, and you got the repair trigger in this kind of outbuilding right next to the shop there, which is pretty cool. This looks like a working yard and a working shop yard, and they even got that little storage point over there. That's super cool. I actually really like that. That looks really well done. Yeah, Julian F. Monty, this is definitely probably one of my favorite looking American maps, I have to say. It just feels very authentic and genuine. It doesn't make you feel like you have to have massive equipment. We can have kind of a more low-key farm and stuff like that. But yeah, so we started here. We went down this way, looked at this stuff down around here, down over here. And now we're over here. We have a farm shop, sell point right up over here, as you can see. And then we also have our cow barn right here if we wanted to get some cows taken care of and stuff like that, which is awesome. And now from here, I think we're actually going to, well, we're gonna hit this bush first, so this little tree or whatever it is. I think we're actually gonna take this little this little road across the map here, just past so you can get a better look at the farm shop here. Oh, a couple of Ford trucks there, they probably broke down. That's probably why they're sitting in the parking lot, not on the road, makes sense. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. There's uh, some storage there at the little farm there. Another farmhouse here, and these little storage sheds should all open as well. So like if we come off over here, once you own the land, you should be able to use these as storages, which is really cool, by the way. Um, so there you go, there's that. And up over here, we have the campsite cell point. You can see just on the right-hand side, all this stuff going on over here, which we'll drive in and take a look at that. Yeah, campsite right in here. Uh-oh, there's a Dodge broke down too. Chevy in there, of course. Chevy's not gonna be able to run, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, campsite in here. A lot of really cool detail in here too as well, which is pretty sweet. So this looks beautiful back through there. Gosh, that's really cool. Love the look of that. People walking on the roadways, make sure we don't actually run them over. That would be bad. Um, but yeah, so I think, yeah, we'll head up this way, head across the river here, take a look at kind of this uh, enormous amount of containment units over there, head up this way. Um, we got ourselves the Butler's Egg, Ohio, horse pasture that way, and then we'll drive across this way Take a look at that, take a look at that. Um, and I think we'll hit these things at the top as part of the flyover. I think will be the final plan here. Because I do want to get a nice flyover in so we can take a look at everything. But so far, this is absolutely incredible. Really beautiful, really well done. Nice little country bridge here we'll cross. And then here's just a massive storage facility. If you really needed some extra storage, this would be the place to get it. Holy smokes, that is basically all that is. Just a huge storage yard for you. Which is pretty cool to have that option as something you can buy. And these guys on this... Is this a field? No, it's not. I'll say these guys on this field, good luck working on that field. But no, they're just all decorative. I love that. It's actually really cool. Um, we have the Ohio Ag in the back there. And then on our right-hand side coming up, we have ourselves our horse pasture, which is a custom horse pasture, which is pretty cool. It looks really good. Love the flag hanging off the side of the barn. It's very common in a lot of farm areas to see something like that. Um, we go into here. Boom. Got our horses. We got some... I don't think those are real bales up there. I think those are just decorative up there. But looks great. Hop in here and continue down the road. Honestly, just a beautiful map. I want to live here in real life. Like, seriously. This looks fantastic. Got a little farm area right there if you wanted to use it. Up here on the right-hand side, what do we got going on right here? Oh, a gas station, of course. Or no, just a fuel point. 
No, no gas station. I haven't found a gas station yet. Is there a gas station on this map? There's a lot of fuel tanks. I don't see a gas station, though, which is fine. Yeah, there you go. Some junk there on the left-hand side. Continuing up this way. Run that stop sign, of course. And then right here, we have ourselves the firewood neighborly cell point there. Get back in the correct lane here. And then as we keep going up here, we have another little farm set up here on the left-hand side, which we'll hop out and take a look at. So another little house you can use if you'd like to. Plenty of storage again here. You can use that for sure. This is a huge storage barn here. Did I open up there? It does. That's nice. Huge storage area. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. Really cool. I like this kind of area too. This is fantastic. Like a little lounge area, some storage. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love they can go in that. Oh, man. We got ourselves a fertilizer tank here, some flat bottom bins, all sorts of good stuff around here, then more storage out here. Yeah, this farm is fantastic. This is the farm I want right here. It's a great looking farm. Yeah, and I think that's everything. Oh, fuel tank. Where's that guy at? Oh, right over there. Oh, there he is. Hidden around the corner there a little bit. But there we go, guys. That is the map. Let's go ahead and do a flyover. Take a look at the rest of it here. So we'll head north first, because that's the stuff we haven't taken a look at yet. So if we head up north over here, right in this area right here where we're at, we have ourselves a couple of fertilizer tanks, and we have the Ohio AgriCop cell point right there. Um, and then the only other thing we had to take a look at is a couple of flat bottom bins that are just over here. Right down here, just some more storage in a little farmyard. Big old tunnel storage there for you if you wanted to use it, which is pretty cool. I like that farmyard actually too. A lot of ability to be... Uh, Real creative in this uh, map, I think, too, which is nice. And you can't really see where the edge is. It's kind of hard. It kind of blends really well. But yeah, we're off of it now. We're definitely over the edge. See, we're on the map here. It kind of comes up over to the edge here. Now a little farmyard here with a silo and all that good stuff. Look at that. What vehicle is that there? I haven't seen that one yet. <laughs> That's fantastic. Look at that little thing. All right. I believe that's the Ohio flag, if I'm not mistaken. That was on the side of that. Plenty of field space. Some more trees down here if you wanted to do forestry. Little pond there. That's where we started that. was right over there. I don't, that's where we just went through the grass. Or the field. Nor that. Vehicle shop here, which looks really great. Again, I really like this extra yard that they have set up there for it. Uh, we've got our farmyard up here. Your cows are up here as well, which I like that they kind of expand out into this field area. That's pretty cool. Now our little farm area if you wanted to use that. And the campsite, look at all this, just different trails and stuff through this forest area, or forest area here. That is fantastic. Really well detailed, good parking in there. Looks really nice, really genuine. Here's your massive storage yard if you want it. I love that little decoration. Just a little added details like that really make it pretty great. And that's a really cool looking horse barn to be fair. Um, that's one of the cell points right up there. We get up over here. This is the thing we started kind of taking a look at. So if we go down the center of the map here, fuel points, different farm areas, farmyard here. And then our starting farm, last thing I want to take a look at is right here. So that's our starting farm. A nice little humble humble start of a farm right there. Really like that as well. But there you guys go. I think that is everything. If you guys enjoyed this map tour, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. And turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.